Welcome back. Michelle Traconis is sitting in prison awaiting sentencing. She was recently found guilty in the disappearance and death of Jennifer Dulos, a mother of five. This morning, 48 Hours correspondent Erin Moriarty joins us with a look at the case against Traconis and her family's unwavering belief in her innocence. Good morning to you. So this is a very unusual trial, isn't it? Good morning, Nicole. Um, I'm not sure I've ever sat through a trial quite like this. Uh, number one, Jennifer Barbara Dulos's body has never been found, so it was a bodiless prosecution, and that's always very difficult for the state. Um, but on top of that, Michelle Draconis was not charged with murder. She was charged with conspiring to murder Jennifer Dulos. And so the prosecution first had to prove there was a murder. They had to prove that she was murdered, likely by her husband. He's not around because he took his own life. And then finally getting to the charges that are against Michelle Traconis. And if you're sitting there a little confused, imagine what the jury was going through this very long trial. Well, Michelle's sister said that she spoke to the police to help them out, and it turned out to hurt her, didn't it? Oh, Nicole, anyone who has watched 48 Hours over the years knows that there is a real risk talking to police, even if you're accompanied by a lawyer, as Michelle Traconis was. Um, they not only used what she said, because she did, she spoke three times and contradicted herself, said that she was with him in the morning and then changed her mind and said she was not. So they used that against her, but they also used what she left out. And they said that she was very detailed about unimportant facts and left out important facts. So yes, it was, it was important evidence used against her at trial. Well, one important fact, as you mentioned, is that this is a bodiless case. So the biggest question still remains, where is Jennifer? I think everyone was hoping this trial might reveal that. Uh, Jennifer Dulos is the mother of five children, two sets of twins. Um, it's been almost five years that she's been missing. But And you would think if Michelle Draconis had that information, if she had been involved in the murder, she would have traded that information, made a deal. But that didn't happen. So it's very possible we will never know what happened to Jennifer Dulos. And your heart goes out to those children and that family. Erin Moriarty, thank oh, you so yes. much for joining us this morning.